YouTube. This thing's really, I didn't do my hair. This thing's really my face, isn't it? There, it's a little better, I guess. Hi, YouTube. Yo. Uh, we are in Monterey. We are at our rental house. I don't have my mustache brush either. Well, this is just not going to be Man, what what's he gonna do? I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we um, forgot to schedule the live this morning. And so we got up at 4 a.m. He got up at 2. I got up at 2.30. Yeah, we got up at 4. <laughs> so Adam and I drove from L.A. to Monterey, got into town about 10.30. And you made then time. We were hauling pretty good. We were doing the speed limit. Basically. Yeah. From California. By hauling, I mean we were going exactly the speed limit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> What's living on Adam's head? That's a good question. <laughs> that, dude, it does... So the camera's kind of got a little bit of a distorted view because we had to put it into widescreen. Adam mode. looks skinny. Look at that. No, I don't. <laughs> don't lie. Don't get my I almost feel like up. the computer needs to be on a separate table because every time anyone touches it, it like wobbles. Erase your head. <laughs> Erase your head. So I have naturally curly hair. And so when it's not styled, it does this. Mm. I mm. hate it. I hate my curly hair. I've got hat head. With, with what little hair I have, it's all like <laughs> pinned down. <sighs> anyway, yeah, we're in Monterey. And so we tooled around. Uh, we went to Mecham. And then after Mecham, we went to Ocean Ave and hung out and actually met a couple people that were fans. Uh, Adam was super happy. He got, <laughs> he got identified. So I was like, Adam! Adam from NGS. As I walked out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So it was both cool and not weird. So cool. We saw some pretty awesome cars today. There's like some ridiculous. Yeah. It, that's, <laughs> I, I swear my favorite thing to that's do lemon. during card. What? It's a lemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> lemon party. <Yeah. laughs> my favorite thing during car week is just going to like Ocean Ave or some of the other places and just, um, you just do car spotting. Cause it's we just, saw three Bugattis. Yeah, in, in, in the span of like fourth, 50 feet. By the fourth or fifth pista, we were like, eh, just a pista. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's only a TDF. Yeah, it's only a TDF. La Ferraris are too mainstream. For oh, yeah. dude, we saw, did we see three La Ferraris yeah, today? three. Actually. Well, we also saw those uh, La Ferrari prototypes. Those were kind of cool. So, how many cars are you planning to buy this week at the auctions? Probably Who's none. Saying? We're not paying these inflated prices. <laughs> no. Unless we have to buy to make money. The problem is that the cars at auctions are all pretty much retail prices, and we don't want retail prices because then we can't make money. Like if we pay retail price, you guys aren't going to pay more than retail price. So then, yeah. What's the gray box on Josh? That's my hat. I'm wearing it because my hair is all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've got the 599 and the 488. 
and a rental chip box. A Chevy Thanks, Malibu. The Malibute. The Malibute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was pretty fitching. Oh, yeah. And we have, they didn't have Miller Lite, so I'm drinking Michelob Ultra. He's drinking high dollar shit tonight. Mm -hmm. And we got the aluminum bottles, the 16 ounce aluminum bottles. Yeah. Uh, these are... <laughs> Uh, I have water. Mm, mm -hmm. My right shoulder, the gray box, something on the shelf, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something on the shelf? Is there a gray box? I think they're talking about this rock right here. It's a rock. It's a, it's a geo. <laughs> Are they still going to auction an F40? Yeah, there's an F40 at Mecham. I think it auctions on Saturday. Thing was clean. It's the nicest F40 I've ever seen. Really? I thought so. More than Mosin's? Yeah, Mosin's. Well, Mosin's is legit. The, how can you get better than the one that we saw today, though? Because I know Mosin's is nice. They're probably equal, I would say. Yeah. Mosin's won um, Cavallino or whatever at, uh, uh, what's that one in Florida? The big thing in Florida. No, what's the big event at Florida? It's called the Cavalino. Ah, whatever. No, no, it. it was a nice car. Yeah. And there was three LaFerrari prototypes there that were pretty cool. Those were kind of cool to see. Yeah. Although it's funny, like I wouldn't why would you want those? Like I think people just put them put them on display or something. Yeah, like like the one okay, so one of the there's three prototypes that they had. The one is a four five eight with a V twelve like hybrid system that they put in, you know, like evolved into the system in the LaFerrari, but like it doesn't fit in the back of the 4 of 8. So it's all like got these weird exhaust pipes sticking out literally yeah. that far from the back of the car. It just looks janky as hell. Like it's like riveted on. It's just like, that doesn't look good at all. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what the heck? I was wondering why I wasn't seeing anyone in the chat, but you guys saw them. I was stuck in the YouTube of another realm. I was trying to say hi and enjoying the weather. The weather is it's awesome. awesome. Fantastic weather. Uh, Dan and Anna. Cavalino Classic, that could be it. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Uh, Dan and Anna, I sure hope you guys took some of the 20K fake motion or fake movie money. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should have brought it, but we brought condoms. <laughs> we did. <laughs> that we're going to hand out. <laughs> we're going to hand out EAG condoms. I don't think we want to do that in case they fail. <laughs> <laughs> then we're liable. If you use an EAG condom that you get, yeah, it's a novelty. Broadway, like you don't hey, use. You know, people are stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got to be better than like not using anything, right? Yeah, you'd think so. It might, you know, direct it if the hole's right at the tip. It just like <laughs> concentrates. It. I don't know. <laughs> oh my lord! Hubie did mention us. That was very cool of him. Yeah. Hubie wants to get a conversion on his 599. How is the 599 driving now? It's back. Sorry, we've been up a long time. I'm tired. Yeah. Ugh, it is awesome. That is not a reflection of the 599 driving. It's just I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. I love it. Uh, there's a EAG for there in eBay as of yesterday. Yeah, okay. Have you seen any stars from the movies? No. Me? <laughs> Is Adam uh, sleeping in the top bunk or the lower bunk bed? <laughs> He's sleeping outside. I'm not sleeping. He's outside. sleeping on the deck. He's sleeping on the deck. I would if I had mosquito netting. Because it's going to be in like the 50s out there tonight. Mosquitoes won't be out when it's 50, though. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Maybe they would. Hey, condoms are expected to be only 99%. God damn it. Why am I yawning so much? Sorry. Seriously, we didn't get enough sleep last night. I slept like maybe five hours. And yeah. Yeah. It's been a long day. It's a lot of yeah, I look at the look at the bags under my eyes. Mm, there. I'll be wearing my come and take it t-shirt whenever I see you guys. Nice. Nice. What are the plans for the car week? Um, so we did meet them tomorrow. We kind of don't really have any commitments. So we're kind of looking to see what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, trying to get some YouTubers to drive the 599. Um, I believe uh, Colleen from Ferraris Online is going to drive it. 
uh, we need to text her and confirm. We were working on trying to get Hoovy and Ed Bullion to drive it. Uh, they haven't emailed me back. I think their schedules might be kind of busy. So that might be tricky to figure out. And then, uh, yeah. So anyway, we're trying to get some people to drive the 5 to 9 tomorrow. So we intentionally left that kind of open. And then Saturday, we are going to Exotics on Broadway. And I'm going to have the 5 to 9 there, which actually is going to suck. We're going to have to find a car wash. Yeah. Oh, God. Our, our Airbnb is on a dirt road. So we drive the car and it's immediately yeah. dirty as hell. Oh, yeah. It's the, the Airbnb we have is uh, not ideal, but works actually really nice because it was like last minute. There was... It was literally the only Airbnb available, and it turned you know like it turns out it's actually quite quite nice. Um, I bought a 575 with the Fiorano handling package. Very nice. Uh, oh, Steve! Yes, I heard about your gearbox. What happened? The synchros are toast. On a 360. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Yeah, dude. They. Were, how did uh, that? How does that happen? Uh, the EAG guys were like just trying and trying and trying to get the damn thing to go into gear correctly. And, you know, like they only have so much adjustment, right? And they're trying to get it. And they adjust it one way and like certain gears would work and other gears wouldn't. They adjust it the other way. Did that happen after they did the conversion? Mm hmm Hmm. Well, so I think the problem is it probably exposed yeah. the bad synchros, right? Because I don't think the cable shifts as precise as the uh, actuators. Right. Like, I mean, let's be real, like hydraulically actuated things are probably pretty precise. Yeah. So is that a danger when you convert those then on all of them? Mm. I'm not aware of them having this mm. happen to anyone else. So you just need a whole gearbox or, a re or have it rebuilt? Uh, I, I don't know if you can replace the synchros on those. Maybe you can. I would think you could. Maybe you can. Yeah. Our art said For three parts. and four, lots of brass in the oil. Yeah, that sucks. Oh. That's not good. That's a no bueno. Yeah. I know those are hard to find, too. They are right now. Guys, fly me out, and I'll drive it, and I'll bring another 20K Hollywood money. I mean... <laughs> You act like we got money. <laughs> Real money, not the fake money. We can't use the fake money to buy people stuff. Oh, something says more tickets. Sorry, I just saw an email. Oh, never mind. It's for something else. <laughs> I thought maybe it would be like tickets about something. Uh, Art pulled a sample from the oil. I would assume that they would have brass, like any car is going to have a little bit in there. Just yeah. for normal wear, but it shouldn't be very much. Oh, Carl's going to rebuild the box. Well, that's good. Pulled what does it cost to rebuild four it? Four cars, all brass fittings and oil. Oh, wow. Huh. Huh. Man. Well. Now that there's another thing to start testing for when you bring a car in. Brass in your oil? Yeah. Brass in the gearbox oil? Jeez. 10,000? 10, 10, that's not, oh, that's not bad. as bad as I expected. Yeah, that's fine. That box. sucks, but that's not crazy. Yeah, the funny thing is it'll probably shift better than when it was new. Yeah. <laughs> Any new cars? Uh, like in the dealership? We've got eight now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we need to sell some cars. Buy some cars, people. We need to sell some cars. Uh, we had an OEM car manual, same issue, and it had a rebuilt, and it was better after. Butter, I bet butter. You know, it was butter yeah. after. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, seawater air will make you sleepy too. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I guess there's probably some stuff in here. It's also cold, which is probably making me tired too, because it's like all comfy and stuff. It's I'm not very, sweating so my nice. ass off. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty awesome. I'd buy a car if it wasn't for the crypto market. No. Um. We take crypto. <laughs> Are you the only one imbibing? No. Josh is. See? Imbibing? I haven't seen that word. That's a good word. <laughs> Man, you guys are going to have to entertain us because we're tired. Yeah. So <laughs> give us lots of questions and, I don't know, we'll talk about to answer them. Yeah. We were talking about the new GT3 RS mm. earlier. 
Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> that got Casey's attention. It looks bad. By the way, Casey, our friend, is here. He he's shy and he doesn't want to be on camera, even though it's because even though you are the least shy person ever. The feds are. He's on the land. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just doesn't want like people knowing his face. <laughs> yeah you've seen actually you've seen some of casey's cars in our videos but i don't think you've ever seen casey in any of your videos but uh are we actually going to talk about cars if you have a question we'll talk about cars we were talking yeah we were talking about cars the whole time no we were josh when we were going down there we were talking about how the two weeks you were out people were like oh wow there guys are actually talking about cars and stuff. yeah right <laughs> jocko we're like well, it mm -hmm. took 45 minutes to get here but, in traffic. It's probably like a 20-minute drive with no traffic. Yeah. I think it's uh, 17 minutes from Monterey. Yeah. It's not too far. Yeah. And it's a, if there was no traffic, the road is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I still think no frunk and no folding buckets is very limiting for the RS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a comfortable car to drive. Nobody's going to say <laughs> right? it. Right? <laughs> Adam, how's your 911 going? Same as last time. <laughs> Although it's raining and supposed to rain in Austin for the foreseeable future. So hopefully when I get back, I can start cranking it out because I have less than a month to get it back. I say, I think you have five weeks. And I'd like we, to have at least two weeks of, to beat yeah. on it. Yeah, you want to test that. We don't have a link for the 488 because we don't have it up for sale yet. We don't have the pictures. I mean, you could buy it. But we don't have the pictures. Um, we did the video on it. That's all we got so far. We just haven't had time because it was stored at Fred's house. So uh, as soon as we get that car back to Austin, we're going to get pictures. That and the 5 to 9, we'll get them cleaned up. Um, we actually have to finalize the 5 to 9. So even though it's driving, it's really not ready. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it to you at this point. Like you could buy it. We're just going to put pretty, prettier parts. Yeah, we got to put some pretty parts in like... You know, there's some simple stuff like we ran out of time and like literally we took uh, the one panel, we ran out of bolts. So we just put one bolt in it just to hold it in place. We're like, OK, good enough. You know, just stuff like that that we got to yeah. button up. Basically. Doing any burnouts. No, we don't. We don't uh, have Mustangs on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, is that the car you're going to take on the devaluation tour, Adam? Yes. Your 911? Uh, yeah. Yeah. If it's done, if not, I'll take my wife's own three. Yeah um california video posted unreal how new that car it is that car it smells new it's unbelievable yeah, it, it's, a it's like a car it, that smells new inside it, the thing that's so funny though is it still has sticky buttons it's disgustingly <laughs> like really bad sticky. yeah sticky buttons but it's just like everything else about it is just perfect I've well not perfect. m240 i on order yeah cancel that that's nah. yeah hard pass on any new bmw yeah mm -hmm. yeah can't wait to see it finished. Good for you. Thank you. I, yeah, it's awesome. It's fun. So fun to drive. John says, how hard would it be to put a comfortable seat in the Scud? I have to tell you, I drove that car for a while and that seat is comfortable as it's, hell. It really it's is. Nice. It's not I like uncomfortable. It. It's, you, it depends on your body type, right? Even yeah. for me, I'm not I just, the skinniest person here and it wasn't That terrible. seat I sat in that car and I was like, God damn, this seat is like tailor made yeah. for me. It was awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. It, the 360 seat was far more comfortable for me, but the Scud seat wasn't uncomfortable. So I'll tell you uh, what though, the, the 488, the right bolster, it dug into my thigh today. Oh, I didn't oh, yeah, on the, Well, I drove it for five <laughs> hours too. Yeah. <laughs> well, those are also carbon seats. <laughs> The seat itself was really comfortable. It's just because where your foot, my right leg was for keeping yeah. my foot on the gas. It just, I was like, ah, just dig it in my thigh. When and where can we see the 599? Oh, you're in town, right? So we're going to be at Exotics on Broadway on Saturday. So I think it runs from, was it one, one to, to six? We have to be there at like 10 or something. We have to be here, I think 11 or 12. Yeah. But it'll be at Exotics on Broadway. Otherwise, we're going to be putzing around town. I, so I really don't know where else it'll be. Um, hey, we're going through Austin next month. Does Coda have a visitor center? No. Museum? No. no. Anything on a race, non-race day? No. Not really. Uh, they sometimes have go-karts. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. You can do go-karts. Yeah. And they do kind of have like a gift shop thing there. They there. are doing – they started um, Cars and Coffee back up. But I don't know. That's usually on a Sunday. Yeah. I don't yeah. know exactly what Sunday. I don't know when that is. Uh, the driver's side and passenger side seats are different in the Scud. Really? 
That is interesting. What's different about them? Yeah. Other than it says passenger seat is mildly wider on the thigh bolster. Oh. Maybe the, the dude may have had like a big friend that he. <laughs> I wasn't his friend. Yeah. Well. Are you going to Concours? No, we are not. Uh, Does this got to have Daytona or Recaro? Uh, it's just the carbon buckets. Yeah. The sport seats. I think they're unique to the Scud. Every year I plan to go to Car Week, and every year something comes up. See, you just gotta go. It's so fun. Just do it. We did this last minute. It like, was. We were like, I guess we're going. Dan was like, I'm booking the Airbnb. I was yeah. Like, okay, I guess we'll figure out how to go. <laughs> yeah. Admittedly, this was too last minute, and it's kind of disorganized. Like today, we're like, damn it, we don't have cards. Ah, oh, we don't have like stickers on the cars so that people know which card it is. I was just like, ah. So we gotta do it better next year. We, uh. I guarantee we'll be back next year. The three of us idiots will be back and we'll do a better job and have a better plan. Uh, where are we going to be tomorrow? Don't know. Somewhere within 20 miles of Monterey. <laughs> we, we don't really know our plan yet. Uh, we're kind of flying it by ear. So it's pretty awesome this year. Lots of great cars. Yeah. Need more Porsche on the channel. As soon as we sell a few Ferraris, we'll buy a Porsche. Promise. Hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the problem we here's the problem we've had with Porsches. We can't find any good deals in Porsches. Well, not only that, and I hate to say it, but the Porsche buyers are worse than Ferrari buyers. They really are. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, not me. <laughs> Sorry. I, I mean, they're all like, I want the rev report. I need to see all of this. I need. Yeah, it's just like, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I understand you want to try to buy a perfect car and everything, but you're buying a 10 year old Porsche. It's mm -hmm. like. It's not going to be perfect. No. <laughs> the other problem is, again, no offense to anyone, uh, they don't, the videos don't do well. We have not had good luck with Porsche content. It just. Well, it's because there's a video about every Porsche and everything out there already. Yeah, it's, probably. Yeah. Really and, and people aren't coming to our channel for Porsche content. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's, uh, Casey's stuck on that. Oh, man. Karik was last minute for me too because I forgot about it and scrambled to try and get out of work for Saturday. Good move. Uh, we need to keep, come see that 458 after y'all get back. Okay, you can come see it. You can come drive it, Greg. We'll let you jump in. Uh, you need something weird on channel like a 1990 Aston Martin Raj. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's how Hoovy got popular. He just bought a bunch of stupid cars that nobody else would buy and was like, here, I bought the weirdest, cheapest whatever crappiest car. whatever yeah. and, but that's his shtick his yeah. shtick is like i bought a piece of shit yeah. here's all the things wrong with my piece of shit yep which you know it works for him like that's the problem we have is like we're trying to run a real business and then i kind of think we should do something where we do a poll and let the viewers choose a car a make and model of a car and then we go out and find it and and i'll give you document a little, the so process funny thing about and... this i've done experiments with this because you know we've been doing this a long time the viewers don't generally choose the right thing to put on there for content. That's what that, we end up no. buying like a Celica or something. Yeah, dude. Like that. Well, if they say you need to go buy a 1992 Toyota Celica. Okay, we'll go find one. <laughs> whatever. But no, we would have to say it has to be a Ferrari or Lamborghini or whatever. It so to, it's like it has to meet certain out of out of Mondial. Get you know, a Bizzarini. And it has to be in a certain price range or something. Yeah. Yeah, a 250 of, GTO. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go out and get two of them. Do you think you might run into Hoobie while you guys are there? Well, we were supposed he was supposed to drive the 599. Uh, we were emailing about it, and I don't know what happened. His, his, the last how about a Mondial? Yeah, yeah last... I've I've brought that up a few times, and Dan always shoots me down. No Mondials. <laughs> Here's the other problem. You buy some rando car, we're never gonna be it's able to sell it. Impossible to sell, yeah. I don't want it sitting there for six months taking up space. Yeah. Like ugh. Uh, how did the Gardo SG do for content? Really good. People like the Super G. Uh, we're going to call you when we get down there. If I see David Lee on Saturday at Concurso Italiano, I'm going to let him know that he's amazing, what he did for Tim. Yeah, he's a good guy. I know he's going to be in town. Um, I've been, so I'm on a text group with um, David Lee and some other guys from California, and a couple of them are coming down I for got David Lee's phone number. NBD. <laughs> I'm going to name drop. 
David Lee and I kind of hang out. Kind of know, a big deal. All of one time. <laughs> hey, got his phone number. What are your requirements to allow someone to test drive? Uh, you have to have insurance and you have to be a, a driver's license. serious buyer. We're not going to let someone just show up and say, hey, can I drive this and that? No. Because yeah. no other dealership would let you do that yeah. either. So. Yeah. Yeah, if we think you're kind of full of it, we'll just drive you. You don't get to drive it. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, I think money. there is a few other yeah. – like I think our insurance requires you to be a certain age. I might not... be 25, I think. Yeah. I can't remember. We'd have to look at it. So there are some st- – like we – one of the three of us has to be in the car yeah. with you. That is one of the requirements of our insurance. Like even if one of our wives drives it, mm-hmm. one of us has to be there. Yeah, so like if – any YouTubers or whatever were like, hey, I want to go drive your final night. I'm like, cool. I have to ride in the car. Not because I really want to or care, but because I have to. Otherwise, it's not insured. So, uh, no, David Lee has Adam's number. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, have you guys driven? Uh, wait, what? And from the Iconic Line? I don't know what you're. A storage unit owning friend of ours gave us a lead on a neglected non running 308. No thanks. <laughs> oh, that seems like a it's nightmare. <laughs> That's going to be a ton of. Yeah, right. Oh, it's no. not running? Yay. No. If it's free, we're interested because I've gotten free cars before that have, co- have lost really? me money. I've gotten cars for free that have lost me money before. I can see that. So <laughs> I've never even had a ride in an exotic car, so I would be complaining. I mean, I think a lot of people just would love to ride in a Ferrari. Like that, that's one of the things that's really fun to do is just take someone for a ride. What's been interesting about car week too, is driving around in the Ferraris and stuff. All these people that are like sitting at the corners, taking pictures and oh, it's weird, right? yelling at you and stuff. They're everywhere. It's really, oh, the car, like the car, dude, the car spotters <laughs> during car week are just insane. It's just every single corner. is just someone out there like, Oh, taking pictures. Have you driven any from the Icon line? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody gets to drive those. Yeah, right. Unless, right, yeah, the owners don't even get to drive those. Isn't it, is it called the Icon line? or A kind of, a Kona. Yeah, and you know, recently I was asking, like, if you have to keep one to get one, Probably. Does that mean that the only people that would ever get those cars bought the original cars. You can't work your way to an icon. So you have to have one and hold it to get the next one. That's lame. Until someone croaks and they dump them. It's just a so it's like one in, one out. Did the Howard get rebuilt? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, back in business. How about a 1963 Lamborghini 350 GTV? No. Give us a realistic car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds terrible. Uh, let's see. Have you, da, 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 da. Oh, they just get rained on at the Ferrari events. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it. That was awesome. That sucks. Dude, I would be so sad if I was one of those owners sitting there watching your car get rained on you. Oh, yeah. Like, what a what a screw up. No offense, but, you know. Jaguar Project 7. Nope. Maserati Gran Turismo Straddle. <laughs> Straddle. <laughs> straddle. The Straddle MC. It's like the Straddle. <laughs> That's what I did here. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you had a chance to stretch out the 59 legs yet? So, Cal, some nice roads. Kind of. I'll admit, I have not done a 100% throttle, like zero to, let's Can just say, 100 it? run yet. Kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> the problem with that car is it's so powerful that when you roll on the throttle and you get to like 75%, it starts blowing off the tires. So it's, it's a sketchy car to drive. Uh, yeah. Do you ever look for cars in Toronto? No, we're not doing any Canadian cars. It's too much hassle to bring Canada. them over. Yeah. Unless they've been in the U S and been imported to Canada. And even then it's too much hassle. Not oh, like it. It's been a while since I have not followed you. Oh, geez. What's the story on the 575? It is in the middle of a conversion. There you go. It'll be it done was, soon. Hopefully. It was fixed for what the issue was when we bought it. That was a potentiometer. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. I'll race you, Dan. I mean, I'll probably lose. <laughs> um, 
your money is 30% more money. Sometimes. Would love to see a Gyro Performante Spider on the channel. Those are pretty hard to come by, and they're, I think they're They're really expensive, yeah, yeah. for what it is. The values on those don't make sense to yeah. me. I don't... Because you can get a Huracan for that money. We're pretty close to it. Yeah. Update on USA suing woman who told of the California... It wasn't USA. Uh, they won't tell us anything. No, That's not our business Gallardo anymore. What are you driving now? A beer. Yeah. <laughs> I only made them for a year, I think. Yeah. Mm. Guess oh. on the estimate of what the new GT3 RS will trade Please for. Know. What do you think? 400? I, uh, so I had a broker call me earlier and uh, he said, forget about 100 or under. He said, all the dealers he's talking to, 150 to 200 over. Oh, my buddy so four is, to 450. My buddy <laughs> in first position spec is 284. So oh, yeah. In that car, you'd be just under 500 grand. That's insane. Yeah. The white stock package is 33 grand. <laughs> It's a 223 sticker. That's insane. It's a freaking awesome thing. <laughs> but for that much money? You have to pay you have no, to pay no, for no, two no, of no, them no, just no, to get no, one of them. No, it's awesome for uh, for, for 325. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. That sounds more reasonable. It's amazing. I, I this one may really be the last uh, Can it come in manual? Well, it's going to be a 918 variant style uh, 911 next to GT3. It'll be some type of hybrid. So you know, it's, it's not going to be all electric yet. But. A Dodge Johnson or a Yugo screw yourself, maybe? Mm, yes. Adam, love the Cosmo Kramer hair look. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up. I think the news to break is uh, Porsche Spider. Porsche Spider RS. Man, come on, man. I could give a damn about, about a spider. I hate spiders. I always hate spiders. But that would be something crazy with a four liter, normally aspirated PDK car. This yeah. Gonna, gonna but no one's no spiders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There'll be a couple guys that like them or something. I know. There's, dude, most people like them. I do not. I the can't stand them. Like them. The dirty Porsche flippers? Yeah, they will. <laughs> A real oh, yeah. car has a roof. I agree. Yeah. The Come spider has a good look, though. It's not a regular cab. Yeah, no, I know. Judge has one. I do like the hard top. If you're going to do a convertible, it needs to be a hard top convertible. I straight pipe my coupe, not myself. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought about it. Uh, is that Pisa, Jocko's Pisa in Ferrari of Austin Instagram? I don't know. I don't. I haven't looked at their Instagram. Is it purple? No. Uh, do you still have the Lambo? Nope. Uh... That was a long time ago. You hate them, but you always bring the top down on them. I mean, if you're going to have a convertible, you're going to bring the top down. Actually, I don't. I drove a friend of the channel's uh, Boxster, and I drove it with the top down for maybe 30 or 40 miles, and I stopped and I put it back up because <laughs> I couldn't stand it. And I drove it's it the rest of the day with the top up. F430 Spider for sale for 129 k That's too much. I mean, probably too much. Depends on yeah. options and miles and whatever. A Ventador, sure. When we have the money, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll put it this way: we have a 2007 F430 Spider for sale for 114. It's a coupe. Oh wait, sorry, coupe. That's right. Sorry, have a 360. sorry the 360 Spider. Man, we have so many cars. I'm getting mixed up. Jeez. <laughs> hey, you three. What cars slash displays are you most excited to see there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Casey's input. That was a that was an additional bonus. Uh, uh, you know, anyway. Uh, I don't really have any like thing I'm really excited I, I'm, about. It sounds stupid, but like having already been here and all this stuff, like I kind of already seen. We saw the Pagani today, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, but I always yeah. like seeing them just because I, I, I love to soak in the details. Yeah, that one was a beautiful. I mean, it was a beautiful spec, but I hate those cars. They are so ugly. They're not. A, I don't think they're. Dude, I think it's gas. So it was like a lot. It was like oh. five sixty or something for regular. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It's painful. <laughs> Tom, I'll probably be at Tale of the Dragon later this year, so maybe mm. we can meet up. Let's see. I don't. Um, I don't know if there's any... Alpha. If we could find an Alpha Quadrifolio, like, eh. 
I would do one of those. I just mm. don't get excited about that card. That's the thing. Part of it's like a lot of the cards just kind of, eh. Yeah. <laughs> They're cool. And I understand that people like them. It, it does. It does. It's kind of disappointing after you see all these cars and you pretty much get to drive whatever. You get a little jaded. So I will say the Scud legitimately. No, I, I would agree. That with you I that. was super excited about. Like buying that car, I was like, fuck yeah, we're getting a Scud. Driving it, I was like, it's even better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the few times meeting your heroes wasn't a bad thing. Oh, yeah. That's one when of those you drive rare. that car, you really get the feeling that it's a race car. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. it was a you street really legal race car. Feeling. Like, there's cars that try to do that, but you go, drive that car and you're like, I'll okay, put this, this car like, feels like it should be pulling into that, a pit right now. That <laughs> car is so badass that I've rethought like my long-term <laughs> strategy of like, maybe I would throw a Scud in the garage instead of a 458. <laughs> But actually, here's the thing. In the back of my mind, here's what I'm thinking is, if the Scud is that much badasser, then... <laughs> oh, that's a gallon of gas. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I think you're buying a gallon So we got about eight miles. Ooh. The way we drive, that's about eight miles. In, yeah, in, in the 509, that's like four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Scud, if the Scud is that much better than the 430, I want to see what the Speciale is like yeah. compared to the 458, and the Pista is like compared to the 488. Well... You did? Yeah, barely, not a lot of Really? Oh, yeah, Jocko was, took me for a ride in his Pista, and it was awesome and everything, but it didn't have that same, like, raw feel that the uh, Scud has. What about, oh, so you have you haven't. I haven't driven his, but he took me for a ride. But you drove the 488 now. Yeah. How is the 488 compared to the Pista? But you didn't drive the Pista. I didn't drive the Pista. Yeah, no the 488 is really quiet. I can't comprehend how anything's faster than the 488. No, I think, the, I think the 650 stupid. feels faster than really? the 488. Really? I didn't. Yeah, uh, so. Are they, though? The, the 488 feels more linear, whereas the 650 was like more of the turbo lag and then it kicks in. Kind That's of true. Feel. That's true. My um, F12 Yes. I, Casey let me drive his F12. That shit's scary. I'll oh, I go for a ride with you one time. <laughs> Dude, Casey, we're getting on the highway, and Casey's all like, go ahead, stab it. And I'm like, okay, we're going 80. We're already above the speed limit. I'm on the on-ramp. I put it to the floor, and it breaks loose. And I was like, you can't be shitting me. I've <laughs> driven a Turbo S, and yeah, they're pretty pretty fast. Mm. Dude, my <laughs> We need to get some video of that thing. I want to hear it. Which one? <laughs> yeah, right? The, the straight pipe one. Yeah. Uh, I just bought a, an 812 super fast. Hell yeah. And I will not and I will not sell that car. Well, good. Straight They're badass. Pipe. <laughs> straight pipe that bitch. <laughs> Jocko is not stingy with letting us drive the car. He totally offered to. We just ran out of time. Yeah, he told me that he would let me drive Dude, the that, car. Don't put that he on called, him. He called me and said, he, Adam, I'm going to let you drive the pizza because I took him out to the So first of all, let's, let's clarify something. If you own a three-quarters of a million dollar car, just letting people drive it yeah, here's the isn't keys. a thing. No. Yeah, I mean, like, come on. Let's put a lot of trust in some people. And, you know, like... Not only are you going to be like, hey, go drive my car. It's also like, hey, we're going to drive the car hard. I mean, there's some trust there, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, so it's true what people say about the F12. The F12s want to kill you. That car <laughs> is designed to try and kill you. It is legitimately scary. It is... The noise and the cowl shake on it. Oh, yeah. There, it's really yeah. This question. What? Right here, if you asked me this yesterday, I would have easily said the uh, 650S, but now I'm not sure if it's the 650S or the 488. Really? You think it's better? Or, well, they're close. I need to drive the at 488 more because I didn't really get a chance yeah, to. You didn't really get a, it. Yeah, you were in traffic the whole time. Yeah. Um, you can drive it all day tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Adam Adam drove it for like six or seven hours. I'm done like, with this. Take the keys. I'm I don't want to drive it anymore. It Dude, I had to drive that <laughs> that 599 with the manual all over town today at super slow speeds in super steep hills with tons of people watching you. And I'm like, please, for the love of God, don't stall. Don't stall. Don't stall. Because everyone's going to be like, oh, you suck. You know, it's like, God. That's why I'm not going to drive that down there either. <laughs> I'm okay riding. Is, is it sad, it's sad that I'm more nervous about that than like scraping the bumpers? <laughs> I'm like, don't stall the car. I'm okay not driving uh, until Sunday again. <laughs> a lot of people say that F12 should only be driven by professional drivers. Too much power for the normal driver. It is 
Scary. How much is it like how much horsepower is it? Six fifty or something? No, it's like uh, seven thirty. Seven twenty. Yeah. Okay. But it's also like six hundred something foot pounds of yeah. torque. Dude, and it's not. It's it like it's just stank, if you will. You really, you just don't drive it that crazy. You just, you just, you manage it. Yeah, you just prevent it from killing you. That's all you're doing. You're feathering the throttle to make well, sure you don't die. Well, that's what I want. I want a car to scare me when I'm driving. It, so you do. You, you will be scared with that five and nine. <laughs> well, I need to drive that too. Has it's, it's, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that's the thing. The A12 is supposed to be way more drivable than yeah, than is. the 599, or sorry, the F12. Yeah. Thoughts on the Roma? I think they look great. I don't like them. First, I think it looks like a DB11 or something. There's I'm not, not a big a fan. There is too much power these days for street rate driving. Yeah, I mean, honest to God, none of these cars need this much power. It's just that's awesome. why I like 360 awesome. because it's fast, still fast, but you're not going to kill yourself driving around in traffic. Scott, yeah, I like this. Good. Scott, it's like Dan. Have you been recognized a lot since you've been there? You're kind of a big deal, you know. Not a lot. I've been recognized what six times already, something like that. I got recognized <laughs> by name, which was kind of cool. Yeah, by what name? Oh, the name. funny. Like, actually, know. here's what's actually more impressive than being recognized. Two people said they watched the live streams of us driving here. Yeah. That 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 was more impressive to me because that those only got like a thousand fifteen hundred views. So like when one out of fifteen hundred recognizes you or sees you, that's kind of cool. What's going on with your one ninety? I'm glad you asked. My <laughs> Mercedes. We need to do a video on that because oh, yeah. I have it now. It's at my house. I haven't done anything. I need to find a parts car. Was that your first car? Yeah, it was my first car. I need to find a first, uh, parts car because it needs like a door and and some some other shit and needs a new dash and some other stuff. So I need to find a parts car and then I'll start working on it. Why do you? <laughs> I told him I'm going to give it to him. He's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, please don't. <laughs> yeah. It's already straight. Dude. Fire. Yeah. It's already ridiculous. It, it sounds like a top fuel drag car. <laughs> I like this. Uh, why do you think there's so much hate for Ferrari? Well, Who when says you says there's hate for Ferrari, I know why. Why? I was up at Porsche. About By the way, can you hear him talking? I'm just curious. I was up at Porsche about a month ago. This dude's up there with an SF90. It's this big red carbon fiber dildo. <laughs> and we all were like, uh, man, this is this great car. Hey, can we check it out? And he goes, so we'll check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't hear him. Oh, shit. You need to sit closer, Casey. Yeah, just sit, just right sit, here. sit on the end of the yeah. table. So <laughs> you at least just pop in when. <laughs> yeah, just to add your little. Uh, all right, no annoying. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Jeez, man. <laughs> he can sit. Sorry, but Tony. Barely can hear him. Mouse voice, Casey. Well, he was like way over well, in there. On the other side. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if there's necessarily hate for Ferrari, but there's definitely hate for Ferrari owners. I think it's just supercar owners in general. The yeah. haters. There's there's a high. Yeah. Let's be real. There's a high, like. It, let's say the general population has 25% douchebag, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you condense that down into the supercar world, it probably increases to like 40% douchebag. So, you know, it's like you got a almost one in two chance of meeting a douchebag if you meet a Ferrari owner. That's probably why. I'm just saying. I'm definitely a douchebag. I, I have t-shirts. I've owned several Ducatis. I, don't, I never got any hate on the Ducatis, though. But it's also, you got to consider, anytime something's like considered the best, which let's be real, Ferrari's yeah. considered like the gold standard. It's certainly not Porsche. <laughs> no, sorry, Adam. <laughs> it's not. When people think, no, okay, what brand is more recognizable? Like, what Porsche is recognizable, but Ferrari is always going to trump. Ferrari Porsche. is the number two brand in the planet. But I bet you you can show somebody who doesn't know cars a silhouette of a 911 and a silhouette of a 458 or something. And they're going to recognize the silhouette of a 911 more than they will. Probably. Mm, maybe a silhouette, but you show them a Cavalino and they go, Ferrari. You yeah. show them the Porsche badge and they go, I don't know, like pots and pans? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, 
Dan, I spoke to this one guy that didn't like you, but I defended you. Well, thank you. <laughs> and tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> what a Ferrari owner. <laughs> I'm a douchebag. Didn't you hear this conversation? I said one in two chance. I'm the two. <laughs> <laughs> All Porsches look the same. Yes, nobody's going to argue with you there. No, no. Leno speaks negatively, but that's I, he speaks negatively about the buying experience, not the cars. Just buy a used one, then you don't have to deal with it. Right. Dealer. That's I, I've oh. never dealt with the Freud dealership, really. Stop it. Oh, okay. That's, um, oh, God. Oh, Lord, he's obsessed Lord. with this stupid. Here's what he's been showing us all day long. <laughs> Let me show everyone. <laughs> Look at the cut line in the door. Oh my God. <laughs> Take your crap Look away. It. it has the it same has, interior as a 2011 has, base Carrera, cool. though. <laughs> Hasn't that design been around since, no, like, no. multiple? No, oh, he's got 50 Whoa, bucks. 50. Oh, from Shane. Damn. Buy another mic for Josh. Well, Dan's got the mic right in front well, of him, so. This is the, you guys can hear Josh. It's Casey that's the problem. He's oh. over there. Yeah. Is the problem. yeah. Enzo said, ask a kid to draw a race car and they'll color it red. Probably. Yeah. Yep. That looks like an RC car. It kind of does in that picture, actually. That, when you first show me the picture, generated. yeah, it's computer generated. It's, yeah, it's not a real picture. Show a Ferrari to a bunch of college girls and they will ask you, what year is your Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Wait, Lamborghini. So again? They'll act, they, if you show a Ferrari to a bunch of. We did see something very funny today at Meekum. What? We were looking at uh, we were looking at that Lamborghini Diablo VT, mm -hmm. and they had a big banner in front of it, like what, like the, the car <laughs> shows where they show like the history of it or whatever, and it had a Ferrari badge on it because somebody thought it was a Ferrari at some point and put so, that on. There. Some Meekum employee didn't probably you take made a picture that. of it. Adam, I, I put someone, it in the film. Okay, I put it in the it's video. It's terrible. You got It's funny. Jocko, <laughs> I'm a douchebag, and I have the T-shirt to prove it. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. The F12 and yellow. We saw a yellow F12 TDF at, uh, mm -hmm. down there. It was badass. First time mm -hmm. I drove a test row, so the people in the car next to me at the light gave me the finger. The owner told me to get that lot. I think that's actually localized. I think if you do, if you drive a Ferrari in certain areas, you get negative attention. If you drive it in other areas, you get positive attention. So, like in Austin, in all the years, whoops, sorry, in all the years of driving around all these Ferraris and whatever, I've only had like, I'm gonna say three incidents where people were like just dicks to me, like for no reason, like just driving by, they'd be like, oh, fuck you, or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. And when they do that, you're just like, they must be having a bad day, or they're well, and I'm just like, just sorry, suck. your life is yeah. miserable, but like, I'm gonna enjoy mine, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna let you affect my life. Hey there, I don't let anyone drive my Jocko <laughs> <laughs> t shirt idea. Don't hate the driver, hate the car. No, I think you want to hate the driver. It's not the car's fault that they got stuck with the douchebag owner. Yeah. Because, like, there's some great cars that are owned by shitty people. Like, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Here in Miami, you get a lot of good attention. Yeah, in Austin, you get generally positive. So, like, anecdotal, but Chris Loper, when he moved from the Bay Area to Austin, he's like, holy shit, it's so much more pleasant driving around my Ferrari in Austin because no one's giving you shit. So obviously, and I, I agree, I think driving around a Ferrari in the Bay, Bay Area probably is a lot of negative attention. Just saying. Um, if money was no option, what would you own? A big-ass house. F40? <laughs> F40, yeah. For me. It's kind of, especially having like met the hero now. Yeah. It's, it's that good. Although I would still like to, that's I guess the problem. I'd want to go drive some of these other cars to see if they're as good as you think. I want to drive an Enzo and see how I feel oh, yeah. about that. That's your uh, F8? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Dope. Here we go. This is Casey's other F8. There you go. I can't see if I can oh see. It's, yeah, it's cool. There you go. Oh, there it is. Oh. Casey's giving an orgasm over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not a dickhead for our. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not like, dude, Casey's, a, by the way, we we're discussing this. Casey's a hero. He bought that car. It had under 100 miles on it, and he sends it off to get straight pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And lowered. And lowered. Like, come on. That's awesome. People need to, like, make their car theirs and enjoy the shit out. And that's the other thing. He drives the piss out of his cars. You know, that's the fun thing about Ferraris. A few years ago, modifying a Ferrari was just like, you know, 
Oh, was, yeah. You, you, you change the wheels on it. You uh, get ostracized. But yeah. now... People are getting over it. They are. They're reliable cars. And four, five, eights are out of warranty. So people, you know... I want to learn to juggle. Them. I can't juggle. My friend and I have gone back and forth about this. Buying a C8 versus buying a used Ferrari like a 430. How high is a C8 really worth buying? So, I mean... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Like, you know great okay, is. it's kind of weird, but the C8 is almost too good, like, which makes it kind of boring. It sounds it's so like let me put it this way: we we've all driven lots of cars, the three of us, lots of fun cars, and we had that C8, and all three of us had that C8, and probably put a decent amount of seat time in it, and all of us said kind of like the same thing. We're all like, it's really good. It's amazing. It's certainly for the dollar, it's awesome. And then we're like, but I just don't really like it. Here's what I was thinking. If you have a C8 in your garage and you have a nice 430 and you walk out in the morning, which one am I going to drive? And I would say almost every time I'm going to take the Ferrari because yeah. the Corvette's boring. Yeah. And the thing is the the Corvette, although it's faster and arguably a better car performance wise, you're not driving these, these you know like a 430 you're not buying it to be like the fastest car in the world let's be real it's not the c8 still feels like a gm to me that's when you get in it, it and drive it and like we're driving this malibu and i hate to compare the malibu to the c8 but there's a lot of similarities ouch, <laughs> ouch. yeah i mean i mean it's got the same turn signal yeah, style it's like the, uh yeah yeah we, yeah. Awesome <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have if we have corvette people it's fine but c8 equals did. midlife <laughs> crisis 430 means you like knowing a mechanic no that's not no, really no, true no. at all yeah. well okay that's shane and to his credit his car has been a basket case so you know sorry shane your car is kind of in that like lemon category basically uh we have both and i always pick the mclaren or the ferrari or the c8 Exactly. Drive around Austin in a C8 and wear a ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that, that would be a, hilarious. Turn out of nowhere. Uh, that would be actually hilarious. Dude. I didn't say the Malibu and the Vet are the same. I said they have a lot of similarities when you drive. There, them there's a life. great way to say it. Corvettes are cool, but no passion. Yeah, I like that's, that's, that's accurate. Yeah. That's really part of it. Like this, you just I don't know when you have. What do you got now? Well, oh no! Now what are you looking at? 12 cylinder Roma. Oh, yeah. It looks like an Aston Martin. It does. I don't get that. I don't Let me see it again. I'll show the viewers because I yeah, don't want to see Yeah, hold in front. Corvettes are like a really good I mean, overplayed the, song. That's, like the front foot of it is like, too long. Right here. Like, uh, I need to get beer. Like the front oh, one or two the, feet yeah. of it has an That's, Aston Martin esque look to it, but the rest of it has Ferrari lines. Yeah, you're right. I sent you that video of it thrashed on track. I didn't expect you to have time to watch it yet. But I, I think that's a really great way to say it. Corvettes are like a really good overplayed song. That's accurate. Yeah. Funny enough, I got a lot of shit about this too. When the C8 came out, I did a video saying that in short order, you're going to be seeing C8s everywhere. And it's going to kind of drown out the like, specialness of it. Dude, you can't drive anywhere in Austin without seeing multiple C8s. It just, it's everywhere. And we've gotten a, gotten a flood of people saying, hey, do you want to buy my C8? And that's, I, I guarantee <laughs> you, the price. So for any of you that want to buy a C8, just wait mm, six months, six months yeah. to a year. The number of people trying to trade us in their C8 is just skyrocketing. We get a C8 trade in request every week. Mitch makes a good point. C8 at MSRP is great. Yes, I agree with that. Preferably below MSRP because yeah. they're gonna be an asterisk by the Z06. Yes, but even that eventually, it's it's not gonna have that same passion that yeah. you know. If they and not a lot of people have driven it. Now, I think that I, I think this Z06 is getting overhyped. It is, but it's badass. I, I mean, yes, it is. A, but I think they better do a good job of it. Yeah. because if they don't, they did a really good job on the C8. If I they mean, would just build less. Yeah. The, the the funny thing is, if GM said, "Hey, we're not we." Choose not to make as much, yeah. but that product. kind of goes against what this Corvette is. It's supposed to everyday, be a sports it, car it, it for the everyday raise, man. Raise the price yeah. and make less. But no, that's same, not what this the, the Corvette about, is. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's yeah. the C8 yeah. is the hold my beer yeah. car. So I mean, I think you just have to accept the C8 is what it is. Like what it is. You know? I have my NSX Type S for sale. I don't connect with it. 
is wow. I can see that. I mean, is that the that's new one? the new one. I'm assuming. Wow. And that's, he said, uh, "What did John said something about the R8 and the uh, NSX? Do they have a passion?" And I think no. Like the R, I had a gated R8, and it was an awesome car, and it was badass and everything. But it was very German. It was very cold. It didn't didn't really have a soul. <laughs> The thing is, it was like, get in and drive, and I'll do what you want me to do, and I will perform, and you can put me away and forget about me. Mm-hmm. The Italian cars are the crazy hot girlfriend. Yeah, they are. They're the they're the ones that are stupid hot, but you never know what the hell's going to happen, <laughs> you know. And that's what's I guess so exciting about it, right? And everybody really? looks at them when you're yeah. walking around, <laughs> and they're, they're the really- most fun when it's going well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And when it goes bad, it really really goes goes bad. bad, And then they cost you a lot of money. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. Fiberglass versus metal. Yeah, that's true, too. Perfect cars are boring. I love that. People don't understand that. Perfect cars are boring. Totally. That's a great way to put it. That is why I dislike Maybe that would be a good t-shirt. Perfect cars are boring. With the 911. Yeah. So you I can love see. It. Yes. So wait. So you can see that the 911 is a perfect car. Sure, because perfect. Well, I wouldn't say perfect, but oh, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> too reliable. Too. It's too sterile. Sterile. It's sterile. All the German cars are sterile. They are. Y'all are crazy, dude. You can't argue with that. Don't make me pull the picture up again. <laughs> 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 Adam, I need to check. Are you still a Ferrari convert and enthusiast? No. <laughs> he's not a convert, but I think he's warming I, up I'm to them. I appreciate him more. I can see I can see why people flock to them like Dan does. They're fun. They're it's look, I like Porsches. I shit on them. They're great cars. There's the same su- reason I shit on the Ferrari. Right. You shit on your car, you shit on your friends because yeah. that's what you do to friends. That's what you're required to do by law if you're actually a friend. If you don't shit on your friends, you're not a real friend. You're just an asshole that's <laughs> hanging around with some other assholes. <laughs> the 488 is the most fun I've had driving a Ferrari ever. So it is stupid fun. Yeah. And, and I, that car is just I had a good beautiful. time in your 458, but the 488 is just so much better. I I'm the way it looks following. Dude, the rear view mirror. Having him in my rear view mirror driving this whole morning, yeah. every time I look at my rear view mirror, I'm like, God, that's a good looking car. It does look good. The, the 599 looks good from behind. <laughs> that that body kit yeah. makes that car. That's my only problem with the 599. I think they, they have an ugly ass from the factory. That's just me. That was my only problem with the 599. I think everything else about it looks great. Yeah. This uh, is a good looking for you. We're going to outsource the yeah. mercy to get it all fixed. And then once it's fixed, we'll probably do some videos on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just don't have the time to work on the that mercy. That was a highlight today. We did what? see a yellow, yellow pre Oh, yeah. Yellow yeah. mercy, yellow mercy drive. driving around. I mean, it's just, little, you know? it was cool. I just, yeah. it was a pre LP. It was nice. It's, I mean, that's the cool thing about coming to this thing is you just see everything every variety of car i mean th- we were sitting there and someone had that little fiat with a mona lisa yeah. painted on the side i was <laughs> like how cool is that <laughs> that was odd yeah you're just like oh that's awesome like just <laughs> random weird the shit LFA. there was an oh, lfa that was cool yeah there was just all sorts of weird shit old school porsche yeah lots of porsche lots of air cooled electric hummer yeah. yeah, that weird Mercedes van. The, yeah, there was what the hell? This, there was a Maybach, a Maybach Mercedes van that these two well, oil mongols or whatever. <laughs> dude, they had there. like giant lazy boy well, chairs you know, in, it. in malls. The the massage chairs they used to have in the yeah, center of malls. Had two of those. That's what it was in there. That's what was in there. Yeah. Yeah, and what what the wheel? What are those wheels called? That they had that the kids were like, oh, it's got oh, water. uh, the where the the um the emblem center doesn't, caps yeah don't move like the Roll, Rolls Royce the floaters Rollies the, the floaters, floaters floaters that's it that's the kid goes look it's got floaters and I'm like what the fuck's a floater Floater, like I'm a boomer <laughs> yeah right <laughs> thoughts on the MC20 I think it looks good gotta try driving it yeah uh, 48 or Scud mm. oh yeah that's two different one ones. specialty and yeah. 
I mean, Scott. if you're if it's for money, oh Scud, Scud. What I mean? Well, they're going to be roughly the same price right now. A four eight eight uh, and Scud is roughly about the same. About price. the same. The Scud is always going to be worth more. At that always, point. yeah. True. Always. I yeah. think long term, yeah, I'd go with the Scud. Long term Scud, but the Scud I think the four eight eight's honestly maybe a little bit more fun than the Scud at the moment, just because it's it's more capable and more comfortable. Yeah. It's like my old ass is starting to appreciate that comfort stuff a lot more. <laughs> I don't, the seats in the Scud are really comfortable. Though. It is, but the car itself yeah. is rough. It's raw. It's raw, which is which is why it's so exciting. Which is why I love driving the Scud. I mean, I would, if you were like, "Hey, I'm gonna do a A to A drive. If I'm, I'm gonna go drive for two hours in a loop on some fun roads, Scud, yeah. for sure." If you're like, "Hey, I'm gonna drive." Six hours. Could you imagine driving what we did today in the Scud? No. That would suck. Yes, it would. That would not have been pleasant. We would have both been like, oh, my back. <laughs> in my opinion, Ferraris are not transportation. It's kind of, I mean, it's a, a to A transportation. They're just, they're event cars. It's a, yeah, it's a, a yeah. You, you know? do it for excitement and yeah. pleasure and joy. In your truck, it, you know, is the Scud rougher right. than a GT2 RS? No, I don't think so. No, no. The GT2 is way yeah. more. Even the brutal. GT3, yeah, is way rougher than the Scud. A GT2 so. is practically a, a street legal race car. Yeah, I mean it's it's like if you sneeze wrong, it's a race car. I hated mine. <laughs> it, you either drove at 50 or 60, or you drove at 150. Yeah. And if you're doing 50, it doesn't make any noise. And I was telling uh, I was telling Josh today the worst thing about it for 350 grand you had the same interior that you had in a 2012 991 race <laughs> carrera yeah and then guys would they didn't want the red interior so they'd switch it to black so now you really have a stock this is the problem with porsche mm. for that kind of money like if ferrari did it everything would be out well here. the scud is cool because the dark Door panels are carbon fiber. The entire interior is Alcantara, and you can't get that in any regular it's, 430. As Greg said, Scud, Scud rides really well, but the lack of deadening yeah. is really wearing. And it's true. I like, like hearing the rocks hit the inside it's of the cool. wheel. On a long drive, quick, though, yeah. that would, I'll put it this way the 599 has drone in it, and it sounds amazing on a short oh. drive. And you're like, this is awesome. On the drive this morning, I had to keep turning up the volume on the radio just to drown out the drone because I'm like, it's getting into my brain. I used to think about you driving your 458 cross country. That sucked. Mine would Without be the valves, it sucked. I put headphones. Yeah. It was miserable. And by the way, speaking of headphones, uh, there were uh, car spotters in Monaco. There's a guy in Valkyrie. Oh. Both of them are wearing a headset. <laughs> oh, yeah. Headset. Driving around. Yeah. I can't even drive that car without a headset. It's mm -hmm. so loud. Sounds like it's broken. My friend's family had a scud. They drove it from San Fran through the Bay Area, and he said that his brother had to stop five times because the ride is so rough. Yeah, I mean, it it actually rides pretty good, but it's 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 stiff. And it's the seats don't have a bunch of cushion, and it's loud, and you know, it just it's a street legal race car basically. Yeah. So yeah, when you drive that car hard though, it yeah. is unbelievably it's, satisfying. Yeah. It just as soon as you stomp it, and you, I guess there's a term I had not heard until uh, recently, the scud thud, <laughs> which is the shifts in that. They call it the, the scud. The thud. sound it makes when it shifts thud. is it's just oh, dude, it is. Like that, is that is that is like mm. oh, dude. Every time you pull the paddle on that thing, you just like mm. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. It makes Super this squirrely. intake yeah. sound and this exhaust sound at the same time. It's cool. It's yeah. Bliss. No, you know what it is? You stab the gas in that car and you start pulling the pedals and you feel like you're on the track. Yeah. Even on the street. You're like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm racing. That's a special car. It is. It really is amazing. Yeah. Like, I don't want to sell ours, but I have to because it's for money. Damn. I hit the like button for that reason. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Oh, yeah. You guys need 115 viewers and only 34 likes. Come on. Like it. Hit that button. It's there. It does help us out, actually. It does. It helps helps the videos out. The Aston Vulcan has headphones for a really good reason. Yeah, because it's loud as shit. People are so shysty with their buttons. <laughs> with their like buttons. <laughs> uh, get an Ariel Atom then. I've actually ridden those things. Those things are 
They're horrible. What a horrible car. It's not even really. It's not a car. car. It's like a toy. That's a trap thing. Adam That's... needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> With what? <laughs> I don't know anything. Dan, nice seeing uh, you at the gas station off I five this morning. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, yeah, that was cool. We were saying we we're like, what are the odds that we ran across two people today that saw us on, a, on our live streams this last week? And it was pretty cool. And he was one of them. And we, yeah, it was kind of funny. We we pulled up to get gas, and here's another Ferrari there. And we're like, oh, another Ferrari. And then dude comes out of the uh, restaurant. He's like, hey, Dan. <laughs> we're like, holy nice. shit. What are the odds? It's kind of cool. Actually, they're probably pretty good. I mean, if you... If, <laughs> I, no, I mean him... I would say, honestly, best. it sounds a little bit facetious. I'm not trying to be conceited. But if you own a Ferrari, chances of you seeing our videos is pretty high. I guess. Because, like, I would say at least 25% of Ferrari owners have seen our videos. I met the guy in Michigan. Yeah. They may not recognize me. They may not re remember the channel name, but they've seen a video. Dan, why are you banned from F Chat? <laughs> <laughs> Funny story about that. Is he a douchebag? Yeah. Um, no, because we uh, apparently own a business and they want to extort us for thousands of dollars to pay their business account. And so we tried it. And we, I spent. I'm going to say about $5,000 being a sponsor of FChat, and I got zero sales. So from a business perspective, I said, nope, we can't do that. And then they banned me. But as soon as I, as, literally, as soon as the money stopped, they banned my account. So I'm just saying, I'm not, no judgment. Oh, there's judgment. I'm trying to be nice. Even the people at all the dealers I shop at watch all of, all of them. Well, the guy, the deal, the guy at the place we bought the stud watched the channel. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> F, it's more F like F. Chat. <laughs> uh, you know, what I wish they had is they should take and remove. Like, we should do this. We should create a new message board that is for actual Ferrari owners that are verified. We could do that. Like you have to be an actual be Ferrari like owner. Thirty owners. That's fine. Because <laughs> like that's owners, that's the problem. Like on Fry Chat, you got so much fluff. Yeah. And it's hard to know who's selling, saying what, and how do you really know any of these people are legit? If you were an adult, you watch NGS. If you were a child, you watch DDE. Oh, we yeah. actually saw him today. We yeah. saw them driving <laughs> around. Yeah, I got him on film. I mean, look. No, as much as like that's not my thing. Like I don't really care to watch DDE. Good for them. You gotta um, respect the yeah, you got to respect their their success. I mean, it's just like it's like Stradman. Nice guy. Met him a couple times. Super, super nice. I don't watch any of his videos because it just it's not interesting to me. It's like here's a dude running around doing like I don't know, yelling at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just not my thing. Like, but kudos to him. He cracked. He cracked the YouTube nut. You know. Yeah, all those guys have. I can't shit on these people when my channel doesn't even have a hundred thousand subscribers, and they've got multiple millions of subscribers. Like clearly, I'm not doing what people generally want, but whatever. Uh, invite me into the new message board. Do it. We should set that. It wouldn't be hard to set it up. It, no, we it's could super totally easy. Do a forum like that. The problem is maintaining it and blah 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 and doing all that. Yeah, it's a lot of work it's to go. So much work. I don't want to actually do it. Did you flip him off? No. Like I said, I, honest to God, if I met any of the DDE guys, I would shake their hand and just want to shoot shoot the shit with them because I, I would bet they're probably fun people to talk to. Again, what they do on their channel is not my thing, but you know that's cool. You do have some funny content sometimes. Dan, be more douchey. <laughs> <laughs> Might get you more followers. Uh, yeah, we ran, like, as part of our sponsored thing, we got NGS ads on FChat, and literally no one bought anything That's from... That's because everyone on FChat are cheap asses, I think. Or and, they're not Ferrari owners. Yeah, or they're, or they're, not, they're not Ferrari owners. owners. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You're, I don't know. Anyway, it was... Whatever. We, we had to try it, right? Lotus says, I flip everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> just You just drive around like this everywhere you go. Hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> That'd be awesome. 
Uh, our, all car vloggers are fun except Life of Pellet. Oh, that's not fair. I actually like him. I don't even know who that is. I like <laughs> Aaron. Aaron's my bro. Okay. Yeah, he does like news. Dude. Okay. I've met him. And does, I got his phone number. He's nice. He does the cliff now. He does. He does like actually. I well, now I have to check him out. I actually mm-hmm. like watching his stuff because I don't have to go watch the other people's and you stuff. Know he's mm-hmm. another normal guy. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's a cool, chill guy. Yeah, I like him. I thought he was really avant garde coming up with that channel. I thought that was brilliant it because was. it condensed down. Like I don't have time to go watch all this other shit. He condenses it down, and he. But here's the only thing: is he focuses super hard on the drama but in to his credit that's because that's what gets the views yeah. and like he and i have talked about it like yeah. so when we did a tour of colorado uh he came out and had dinner with us prior to the tour of colorado and we chat and i asked him about this because like his channel is bigger than mine i'm like you know like what'd you find work and blah, blah blah and he's like man it's all about the drama kind of he's like it kind of sucks but that's what sells and yeah. like a daily video i mean he's yeah. really grinding people say they hate drama but people no, that's drama. the funny that's the the biggest irony of youtube and car stuff car all of you and us all of us car people everyone says oh we don't want drama but the reality is that's what you guys watch right, yeah. it sucks you know content's so hard to find and his channel just Uses everybody's content. It's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, I bet it's a lot of work to, to go through all those videos and put them together. But. <laughs> Wasting your money advertising to the wrong audience, not Ferrari owners, will always get you zero business. And that's the problem. Yeah. Like, so here, here is the dilemma that we ran into with Ferrari Chat. People would shit on us on Ferrari Chat. We would log in and try to defend ourselves, and we would get banned because – we're a commercial entity and that's their right as a business to say, Hey, you can't promote your business on our platform. Like if someone came on my YouTube channel and tried to promote their business, I'd be like, bye. That's my right. That's my business. Right? So I totally get that. That's their thing. So we thought, okay, let's just try it. We did their sponsorship, which allowed us to be able to defend ourselves. We spent thousands of dollars doing it and it, it did not help us at all. And what I kind of concluded, cause I've spent, I bet you I've spent $10,000 trying various other things other than YouTube over the past past few years. I've tried AdWords. I've tried Google Ads. I've tried all this shit. Nothing works as well as just our videos. Like nothing is as good of marketing as just us being us doing our thing. And so that's when I was just like, there's no reason for us to do any other advertising or any other platforms like Instagram is nice. I, it doesn't get us business. I, say, I do. Uh, I do catch your Instagram stuff. Yeah, we should it's, probably be a little more well, proactive. So that, on that. like Instagram it's and Facebook, they're great for it. like just keeping people engaged. Yeah, we don't make any money from it. Right. Zero. So it's we do it to keep engagement. We don't do it to make I, money. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I think it works. The engagement part. Well, like when now that Meg took those, over the I meme generation, <laughs> the you know? fire at her house was good drama. That was. Freaky as hell. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we started that fire. Yeah, right. Don't callers <laughs> with cool car guys will send you up. <laughs> I have a channel I could recommend. What? Is that okay to do on your channel? Maybe. Um, no, it's not porn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, that's good. That's actually probably uh, better. You guys may know it. Um, the four wheel trader. Oh yeah, I watch his videos. Yeah. He's really good. I recommend him. He he's talks a lot about values. Yeah. Of, yeah. He's he actually was, he's a data guy. Yeah. yeah, he's a data nerd. And I love how he, you know... Like, he spends a lot only, of time doing a ton of research. Only, the only thing is, again, he focuses on like, oh, the market's going to shit. The market... And like, yeah. he keeps... And it's just like... I wouldn't say that not, so not much. Sometimes well, he the last... When he says that... The he, last six months, one out yeah. of three of his videos is like, the market's going to tank. The market's going to tank. Yeah. And I'm just like, ah... I don't. The data's not, and like, and his data is not really proving. Well, that. he will say when his data, and he's right. not sure. This he'll say this data is inconclusive. Data. Right, right. And that's, but, <laughs> but the title, <laughs> the data is gonna, or like the title of the market's gonna shit. Well, will get he you, has to have a clickbait right. title to get viewers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think most of us that watch your YouTube videos on a daily basis would agree that you, with you that it's the only thing that will get you the most business or sales exactly yes thank you that's that's really it like this is what the channel was 
founded on. It's kind of our basis. It's what we're, I wouldn't say good, but we're okay at. So once we start making real money, then maybe we can do some stupid shit to get. Yeah. We would, like, <laughs> we would love to have the money and ability to go out and like do dumb crap. I but, want to do a demolition derby. Oh, I want to do the thousand yes. dollar car challenge. Yes, and like that stupid would be so stuff fun. Like that. It would be so <laughs> fun. But we just, we're not there. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you need to make a t-shirt with Meg saying that's carbon fiber. Pointing at it. That's carbon fiber. Doug DeMiro is only 34. He is the oldest looking 34 year old ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually, wow. He is young. That's He's only 34. I thought he's older than yeah. that. Yeah, I thought he was in his like mid forties. Like <laughs> there are only three YouTubers I watch regularly: Dan, Dave, Tyler. Yeah, I'm glad to be on that list. I'm yeah. honored. That's a that's an impressive Dave, list. Dave? Dave, I think maybe Dave from DD. Okay, Tyler. Is that Dave? Tyler, Tyler Hoover. Hoover. Oh yeah, yeah. Hoovy. Yeah, he's. I'm assuming Dave is Dave from DDE because I don't he, know. He is the strong point. I actually like Dave. I like Dave. I've texted with Dave. I've he's, never watched he's any nice. of those videos. Yeah, so. Well, those are the ones you just kind of fast forward through most of them. <laughs> yeah. No. Dave Long. Oh, Car Wizard. Oh, yes. Car Wizard. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What about Donut? Have you guys ever checked out Donut? I I met um, what's his face, the big guy. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. He, so when I did my Shell sponsorship, they had like. All this influencers at the Shell place. They brought us into Shell. He was there along with, like, I was the smallest channel there by a long gap. And it was fascinating because, like, they appreciated the fact that my brand was Ferrari centric. Yeah. So that was my, like, shtick. But everyone else was like, like, so he uh, from, uh, what's his name? Shoot, it'll come to me in a minute. Um, anyway, the big guy from, from Donut. Um, he was talking about, he's like, we cater to young kids. Like, he fully admits it. He's that's like, that's what our channel's for. It's designed to keep these kids interesting. He's like, that's why I have to do the crazy, weird well, I will say uh, one thing. Whatever. That my son is nine years old, and all of his friends talk about wanting to be on YouTube. And if they know a YouTuber, like, they worship those people. So mm -hmm. they're on there, like, watching these guys. And those guys have to keep them... You know, Aww. does your son tell you that he worships you since you're a YouTuber? He tells all of his friends that I'm on YouTube and yeah. they think I'm famous or something. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. oh, that's funny. Let's see. It's you guys and Car Wow. I've seen a video. Car Wow is good. I mean, good they're just driving new cars and reviewing them, though, mostly for the most part. Who are Dude, these 110 like people watching? They're likeless people. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that like button. What's going yeah. on on top of Adam's head? <laughs> that's like we've the already, third time. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. I think it's I think it's even emphasized Thick, more because of the, the people wish they had hair. the widescreen. You are not a car on. channel. You are a lifestyle channel. Yeah, kind of. I guess. I would say we're maybe we should do more like personal videos i don't know like, so here's the weird thing personal drama gets a lot of attention so i mean i told you guys remember i'm like so here's a dirty secret that i'll tell you guys about our channel <laughs> if i go out to my garage and do a talking video which literally takes me 15 minutes to film and an hour to edit it will get more views than us spending an entire day <laughs> working on a car spending money on the car working on the car and doing diy it will get 10 times the views guaranteed because it's drama. Like if I do a talking video, it's drama, right? It's some salacious topic. It's really easy to be like, you know, Dan's opinion on fry, blah, blah, some, you know, like yeah. fries suck ass. There's some <laughs> title like that. Right. Versus Adam. like literally I get like, <laughs> I've told Adam this back in the day. I'm like, look what, what I've done before. I literally will think of a topic title. And we'll reverse engineer a video. We'll say, here's a title. I know that title will get views. Yeah. Let's fill in a, a content for that. Those videos crush. It sucks because you kind of have to be fake about it. Like it's not yeah, genuine. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's genuine. It's just it's not yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. I would rather turn some wrenches on a car, but and everyone says everyone says that's the funny thing. The diehards are all like, 
we want the DIY, we want the DIY, and they do. But the other people who aren't subscribers or maybe they're not like super fans, yeah, they just kind of watch it. They don't really like unless it's your car or unless you're wanting to buy that car, you aren't going to watch that DIY. Most I likely. Would have thought of the shootout video. The I shootout video is at like sixteen thousand views, but is? that's okay. I mean, yeah. I've got multiple videos with 100,000 plus. I've got multiple million views. I think we need to do a 488, 458 scud. Oh the three God, of us are going to take them out bad. and like. So we've do did, some we just did the 430, 430 scud. Oh, we can add that one will do we well. We, the three, we'll take the any, three of those out and we'll do, mess around and do some stupid shit. Versus videos do great. <laughs> my my F8 versus 458 video has over 100,000 views. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. So those ones do like versus videos do great, but DIY, which was like kind of how we started, don't get views because part of the problem is how do you make like a, a salacious topic about like changing a part? You know, it's like like other channels probably I'm not accusing anyone, but other DIYers that do this stuff probably intentionally fuck up, break they stuff, do. and yeah. then like and every time we do like if we screw up something. We get accused of like faking it. It's it's so frustrating. Well, the other so, thing too, I've literally never, ever intentionally like broken apart or done something just for the views. Never. I literally have never done that. I just don't. I I'm not an actor. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I don't think that way. That's my problem. I can't think up like good salacious topics and titles. Like I suck at that. Like I have to ask these guys like. Is this Josh title? Is the- Josh is way better. Yeah. No, I'll be like, hey, how's this title? And Josh's like, um. <laughs> uh. I think, too, a lot of channels that already have, that, that have been doing it a long time, they've got a million followers or whatever. Whatever video they put out, it doesn't even matter what it is. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of people that watch it. That's regardless. That's, the math is against us. So we have to get to that point, and then we can start putting out the videos that we want to put out, right. right? It's hard to... To get it's true. Videos. No, if you've got a million subscribers and you put out a bullshit video and only a f- couple percentage of your viewer of your subscribers actually watch the video, you still got a hundred thousand views. Let's say, you know, 10% or whatever. If I put out a video and I get the same percentage of viewers, I only get maybe a thousand, couple thousand views. My video is not going to get pushed in the algorithm. YouTube's going to be like, your video is not as important or as desired as this other person. Period. There you go. Richard overtorking the bolts with the torque wrench gives views, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. <laughs> it wasn't awesome for him, but it was awesome for everybody else. <laughs> Why is the other Josh not with you? Well, he's not part of the company. I mean, <laughs> Josh Hill is his own entity and whatever. He should come out the car week, though. Josh, you should come out the car week. He's not watching this. He's too busy. <laughs> Nefarious activities. Everybody Le- keeps saying that. But <laughs> okay, look, I want you all to succeed. I'm okay with just put pictures of girls as the thumbnails. That would help. <laughs> I, I, well, we've so, talked about... We, I've we, talked need about to get, we need to hire someone. No, what we need to do is get my wife, Meg, and Adam's wife to do reviews on some of these cars. Maybe just put... Two of them in a car and say, "Here, we're going to put a camera in there. <laughs> Full you guys disclosure. are going to talk about it." Okay, you want to hear something funny? <laughs> so I just edited Meg's Scud review uh, last night. I was working on it, and I literally go through the video. And Megan said this: "She's like, you need to find the video. Or the she's like, find this shot of me with my tits looking the best." <laughs> <laughs> she seriously said that she's like fine she's like no not that one she's and she's like use that for the thumbnail so i did i scrolled through i'm like oh well those are pretty impressive right there okay <laughs> i i think we should get allison and meg to do it or if jen wants to do it too she was a little more apprehensive about it wasn't she yeah she was a yeah but she car might do it topless <laughs> car reviews <laughs> it's on only fans yeah. <laughs> We'll make a million dollars. We Please. should try that on a car just to see what happens. What topless car reviews? No, no, yes. no, no. Just get <laughs> get two of the wives in a car and put them in a car with. A I know. Car actually, you put them in a car and let them drive. Yeah. I'm sure the conversation is just hilarious because <laughs> this would be like this is the dumbest shit I've ever done. <laughs> That's really not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. My phone works here. You on Wi-Fi? You're on Wi-Fi. Yeah. You're on Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah. Don't get so technical. 
<laughs> Meg's ambivalent reviews are great. I love them. Honest to God, I, I'm a fortunate man to have that person with me. I don't know how she tolerates it. Uh, people have lost the ability to watch and learn from a DIY. They just want to be entertained. It says a lot. Sad. It's true. It's true. I, I mean, here's the thing. I've done true DIY where it was like step by step. And those videos get so few views. And they're extraordinarily difficult to film. They take so much effort. And so I finally concluded like the, re the return to effort is really not worth it. Like those videos take me days to make. And then to only get like 2,000 views doesn't advance the channel, doesn't advance our goals as a business, doesn't, you know, so it's like, well, shit. And, and like, you know, random person who watched that video because it was helpful to them. It's like, that was the best video ever. But everyone else is like, I didn't see it. <laughs> I'll like have them pull up to other girls and ask to have them name the make and model of the car. <laughs> I actually had this, I, I wanted to do this uh, video where I was going to pull, like, which which gets you more attention from women? You're, you're like, park, like having a Ferrari or a puppy? And I was like, yeah, of course, 100% the puppy. But I was like, that would be awesome. But then I was like going to twist it and be like, okay, what happens if it's a woman? What gets more attention from the dudes? A woman driving a Ferrari or a puppy? Ferrari. And that's and that was I. I, was I always assumed. liked Doug Demiro when he first started doing videos when he had his red 360. And the staged and, video of yeah. the gas station. Yeah, it was so were, staged though. Yeah, I know, but they were still funny. It was, but it was so like so staged. <laughs> yeah, they worked, didn't they? Guys, take off your shirts and see how that gets the views. Oh, it will be. The, the viewer will be gonna go down. ruined. <laughs> It'll be just plummeting. I think you should have a wife review series and. And the just a blunt clickbait series of models reviewing cars. I mean, yeah, I I'm not opposed to hiring some hot chicks for the thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I mean, if it, Meg probably would be like, great. If it makes money, do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, my puppy's name is Ferrari. Ah. Uh, Drag red reduction red system. Red. Oh, DRS? I thought he just said RS. Yeah. RS is Ren Sport, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, which means race something. Sport? Hashtag true story. What percentage of Ferrari guys are DRYers, though? That's Probably like less than 5%. And that's part of our problem, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm old enough to be getting bored with all the new tech. Just picked up a 1990 ZR1. Ooh, that the hell has out of the Mercruiser engine in it. It's a boat engine. It's a boat engine in that nice. car. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car, actually. That windshield on that car is extremely expensive because they put a special layer yeah, in it um, because the AC compressor is smaller, so it couldn't cool the cabin good enough. So they put a UV filter in the windshield to oh. reduce the heat that gets in. Yeah, so that's like a five thousand dollar windshield. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you learn something new. I and thought it would have been easier to just. Put a bigger compressor in there. Well, they have the boat engine in there, and there's no room. Ah, uh, it's that big. Yeah. What engine is it? I. It's like a 502 I, or something. I don't stupid? remember. No, it's not that big. No. But it's really packed in there. You should go to Laguna Seca and display your cars slash info. Lots of serious people out there. I mean, we have to pass by Laguna to get from our rental into town. <clears throat> we already drove by it twice. Normal chicks supercar. <laughs> It's a Mer yeah, it Cruiser. Yeah, it is a Mer Cruiser. It is. Yeah. All right, we're going to wrap it up in one minute. Give us your best question. The ZR1 engine was designed by Lotus and built by yep. Mercury Marine. That is actually very fascinating. I did not know that. Yeah. I learned something yeah. today. And they're very expensive to work on. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's a boat engine, everything the parts are related. Get, yeah. You'd think that it'd be easy to get boat parts because... Well, it's not like a motor pulled directly out of a boat. It's that's my thirty-minute warning. Why is because it at? It's set to seven thirty, no matter what time zone you're in. No matter what time zone, don't you want yeah. it to be? But that's wrong. No, it's not. Because your alarm should have been going off two hours ago. No, because it's set for seven thirty. I know, but in 
our time zone is correct. I know, but your alarm's too stupid to adjust for time zone? <laughs> All right. Well. I mean, I'm... Uh, I don't know. My shit changes like, well, like if you, anyway, I, you need a <laughs> calendar event, not an alarm. Well, I have both because oh. remember that one time you <laughs> called with like two minutes ago and you're like, hey, are you coming to the live tonight? Because I completely forgot about the live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last question we'll answer. Dream car under 1 million. Oh, oh, quick, real quick. When is Exotics on Broadway? It's Saturday from, I think, 1 till 4 or 5, something like that. We will be there. So uh, it's 9.30 in Austin, Adam. Yes, we know. All right. Uh, last question. Dream car under a million. Hmm. Maybe the Speciale? Might be that. Pista. I would like to try the Pista. If it's half as good that as the 488. The, that wouldn't be the one I would pick, though. Yeah, that's tough. Thanks for the video about the 430s. Edif slowdown light. 765 LT. I want to try that. Ooh, I really want to try that. Look at you putting thought in this. <laughs> yeah, that was. Look at the big brain on the ground. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to shut it down. We got shit to do. Sleeping is a top priority. We will see you guys later. We might, might do just like a pop up live stream, maybe from like, I was thinking. How about this? I would love to go to Ocean Ave and literally just do a live stream walking around. Yeah, and do just like show the yeah. badass cars. Just yeah. walk around with the live stream. Yeah. We should do that tomorrow. You guys want to do that tomorrow? It'd probably be like in the middle of the day, though. So just so you know. Anyway, we think we might do that. We should do that. Anyway. Bye. Good night. Later. Bye. Oh, wait. I got my little outro. Sorry. Hold on. I got to click on stuff first. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is my outro? We are I'm so so efficient <laughs> at this. There you go. Bye. <laughs>